Hi, how are you? It's Iris Quasson and I am back with another stupid question of the day. As you can see, it's very cold outside. I am out for a walk with baby Luca, who is nice and warm because he's got heating pads in here and Emmanuel who is kind enough to do the filming in minus 10 degrees Celsius. Ah, it's really, really cold. Uh, anyways, um, I held a lecture earlier this week at the school. I did two lectures. Uh, targeting, the target audience was students uh, in a mixed, uh, mixed, mixed age. And the lecture, one of the lectures I did was on how to stay up to date on .NET, resources available to us as developers, both senior and junior. One of the questions I got during the lecture was, how much time do you spend on staying up to date? Uh, I think that's an excellent question. I can only answer for myself, so I don't want to give any recommendations how much time you should spend, because that's going to depend on your situation. So I'm going to talk about the time I spend and the resources that I use, and in particularly now that I'm uh, part-time on maternity leave because baby Luke is only seven weeks old. So I go to the gym every day, about an hour, an hour, 15, 20 minutes, and I do a lot of cardio. So during the cardio, which is always at least half an hour, I either watch a video or I listen to podcasts. So on average, uh, I'd listen about two podcasts a week, I would say, podcasts around the 45 minutes mark. And then the videos that I watch are usually me, I'm catching up on videos from Build or Ignite. That's when Microsoft makes their announcements and it's an excellent way to know what's, what's new from, from the people who actually made it. So I watch those videos and I also combine that with tutorials. So for example, I'm a big fan of uh, Microsoft Virtual Academy, which is now Microsoft Learn. They have some ec excellent stuff, but it's usually interactive stuff where you, you have to sort of take part, so you follow a tutorial. So sometimes I watch those videos, or sometimes I watch, for example, Pluralsight courses. Now I've offered a few courses myself. I'm a big fan of Pluralsight, would be even if I hadn't offered. Um, so I always have some course that I want to watch and then I space out the videos throughout the month. So a couple of videos a week. So I usually do this while I'm at the gym and I'm doing my cardio and I take notes by taking screenshots and then I ha put them in, a, in an album and then I spend a couple of minutes after my gym session just sort of writing down a couple of notes and I organize everything in one note. Uh, during the work week, uh, before I was on maternity leave, uh, we would have about I think 10% that we could spend on educating ourselves and working, working on our skill set. So I would spend like half a Friday, uh, every Friday to catch up on new things and then I would have a list of blogs. So I have a list of blogs that I follow. Uh, now that I'm only working part-time, uh, I, I, I don't have a set day that I do that. So usually I spend, uh, I'd say I spend on average maybe one, two hours a week uh, reading blogs and articles. So the blogs are usually Microsoft blogs or people very well known in the community that are either Microsoft MVPs or insiders because they will have the, you know, sort of latest information. And I'll spend time do doing that when he's asleep or when he's feeding. Uh, <laughs> when he's breastfeeding, it can be like an hour at a time. So I found myself spending a lot of time on Reddit, for example. So I made sure that the threads I follow on Reddit are actually related to programming. So I'm active there as well. And I have also subscribed to repositories that I'm interested in. Microsoft Docs, uh, ASP.NET Core and .NET Core and I get emails notifications. Now I'm particularly interested in issues with bugs and breaking changes since I use those technologies at work. And I found notifications to be an excellent way to stay up to date. You can also enable, uh, you can also follow tags uh, on, uh, for example, Stack Overflow. Now I don't do that anymore because it just is just too much, <laughs> way too much. So I try to log in now and then and answer questions. But um, I go through phases when I'm active on forums and right now I'm not super active on forums. Instead I'm trying to focus on, on my baby and, um, and you heard how I spend my week otherwise. So I hope this uh, sort of answers the question. The video is getting a little bit long and he's getting a little bit fussy because he wants to keep moving. So I'm going to end this now but 
I'll summarize this as following. So I spend at least half an hour each day on podcasts or videos and I do that during my cardio. Um, uh, otherwise also when I'm cooking I'll be listening to podcasts. Every evening I read a little bit in a book or I read blogs or articles and then I set aside a couple of hours uh, during the week as well to blog and write on my books. And that's the time I put into it right now because I'm on maternity leave and only working part-time. All right, Whew. well, you made it this far. Congratulations, thank you for watching. And I hope you're not getting dizzy by me doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this because apparently he's still, I'm just moving. Uh, I think it's because I'm a bit cold. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye.